Um, we've heard a lot of great global ideas coming up today. We've heard from Logan to Linda, everybody from Habiba to Dr. Worm, or Mr. Worm rather, sorry. And, um, but what I'm going to be talking about is more of a national issue, which I believe it's time to address. So Canada is one of the most prosperous countries on earth. We have the most resources per person and are ranked first on the United Nations Human Rights Index. We're a country of over 34 million people who have access to water, medicine, schools, social assistance. So how is it that over a million of us can't get enough to eat? Well, can I just get a show of hands who here has donated to a food bank? Right, so, so most of us have brought in a can of tuna or soup from the kitchen cabinet that could go a long way for someone in need. And giving extra food for those who can't afford it to get by on is a good idea, and an increasingly popular one as jobs are lost and more Canadians than ever turn to a food bank. But the numbers show that charitable food has not solved hunger in this country. And to answer why not, it's because food banks are in many cases inaccessible and unsustainable. They're located mostly in cities, as opposed to rural areas, where a lot of poverty also occurs, and many people can't afford the transportation, or they can't make the trip and wait in sometimes hour-long lines due to a disability. Those who do use them are more than half the time, according to Food Banks Canada, faced with shortages, because as need goes up, supply goes down. When jobs are lost, more people turn to food banks, like I said, while less people donate. As well, the non-perishable food that is donated lacks nutrition, because usually the cheapest food is the worst food. In fact, so much sodium and cholesterol has resulted in huge amounts of diabetes amongst our poorest citizens who have to depend on this diet, 40% of food bank users being children. So kids who have to depend on this diet um, and who don't get enough nutrition are subjected to do worse in school and so, by no fault of their own, become a part of the poverty cycle. All this, and yet, food banks have been our primary response to hunger within our borders for the past 30 years. Food Banks Canada says itself that they are not the solution, but that a reliable, non-charitable non model sorry, needs, to be, needs to replace them. So what does this model look like? Well, instead of having the government refer welfare clients to food banks, people need to be enabled to afford their own food of adequate quantity and quality for themselves and their families. If we wanted to give each food insecure Canadian an extra $100 a week for groceries, it would require less than 20 cents from each Canadian per day. And if where the money is going is of concern, then food vouchers would be an alternative. But change is never going to be made until food banks are first phased out. As long as the public willingly provides, even if only the bare minimum, for those falling through our social safety net, it's never going to get patched up. The government encourages the continuation of food banks by running food drives in their schools and making corporate donations tax deductible. The problem is being kept too quiet because they act as a cheap way out, like giving painkillers to a person in need of a heart transplant. Like I said, the problem is too quiet but without food banks, the government would have to ensure food security for all its citizens. And they're obligated to do so. If we thought of these Canadians living on the brink of hunger as a city, it would be the fifth largest populated in our country, just ahead of Edmonton. Now, if a natural disaster, say an earthquake, were to hit one of our cities larger than Edmonton, it would be government duty to rush in with emergency aid and help them rebuild. And while the recent recession can be seen as this earthquake, for the food insecure because they were hit with drastically low food bank supplies, if not closures, as well as lowered social assistance rates. So Canada should be proud to be a society that willingly provides for all those people who can't afford their own meals, but prouder yet not to let them go hungry in the first place. Food banks are not the solution. Canada is still ridden with hunger. But change in policy would step towards eliminating the struggle for en enough to eat. And change in policy could prevent hunger within our borders. Remember, Canada is one of the most prosperous nations on the planet. This can happen. This needs to happen. But this will never happen until we move beyond charitable food. 
Thank you. Have a good day.